Okay, this is Brian. I'm with Kevin at the Interdigital booth at Mobile World Congress, and he's going to tell us a little bit about uh, what they're showing here and, and how we fit into it. So, Kevin, can you uh, walk us through what you're showing here and tell us? Of course. Uh, basically, what we're doing is finding different approaches to, to, uh, to solve the bandwidth crunch issue. I mean, we, we have some bandwidth issues right now, and one way we, we've been working at solving this issue is by uh, offering connectivity and mobility, developing technologies uh, that allow you to, to, to aggregate bandwidth across multiple different heterogeneous networks. Uh, that's what we're showcasing here. So we have, uh, this is a client-server-based model, and the, uh, on the client side, we've integrated with the option connection manager on the laptop, and we're also running on an Android phone. And the server, is, uh, server side is running in a converged gateway, uh, which uh, is made up of a Wi-Fi access point and a, a femto cell. And the core network behind that is, has been developed by uh, CCPU, actually, the protocol stack that's running. And it's been modified to uh, accommodate our bandwidth uh, management uh, server. So what happens is I have a, an FTP download and video running uh, simultaneously on this, uh, this laptop. And it's being sent to the Converge Gateway. It's being split up over uh, multiple links at the same time and put back together on the laptop. So this is the, uh, basically the technology we're trying to show off. And what I can do is I can actually remove links from the aggregation. So if one of the signals gets weak, for example, the Wi-Fi, then all of your data would then be sent over the 3G link. So the 3G uh, link is the gray part over here, okay. and the Wi-Fi is the blue part. So you turned off Wi-Fi, it's and only the 3G now. Exactly. So if I put the, the Wi-Fi back in, then the aggregation technology uh, sends more data over the link that, that's performing better. There's some latency measurements that are taken, and uh, the, the one that's performing the best will get the most traffic. Yeah, yeah. Are customers deploying this? Are, are customers deploying this now, or is this uh, you know hot off the hot off the presses type of thing, or you know kind of tell me about the maturity of this sort of uh, this sort of solution? This is a new technology. I mean, we're trying to push this technology out. Uh, we're partnering up with some companies like Option, for example, to get a client in there, and uh, we're looking to, to deploy this. Uh, well, they would deploy it commercially for us. Great, and tell, tell me again, which uh, continuous computing uh, stacks do you use? And yeah. Maybe I can show you actually on the, the network di diagram of what we have here. Great. So we have the, the two clients running, communicating with the femto cell and Wi-Fi access point, that then go to uh, the converge gateway. This has been modified by CCPU as well. They've coded some proxies in there, and it communicates with the, the continuous computing uh, protocol stack, uh, representing the network in this case, core network emulator. And uh, our application server is running on a, a locally in this case, right. sending the data through the core network to the con converge gateway, and then our technology is splitting that up and sending it to the clients. Nice, nice. So, I mean, you can get you can get much better bandwidth. We're getting the total aggregate bandwidth here. But you can apply different policies to this. Uh, say, send certain flows over specific links, uh, and actually move uh, from one link to the other seamlessly. That's great. Very impressive. Good. Thanks for your time, Kevin. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you.